Hello, hello everyone. So today, I'm going to bring you guys to one of these cafe that will make us happy. But first, allow me to introduce you with my team members. Enjoy a good dessert. So, here we have my Korean dessert cafe. Come with me. As you guys know that, my Korean dessert cafe has 190 outlets around Malaysia. They serve Japanese traditional dessert and now it's been our favourite. So, for your information, my Korean dessert cafe in Rao is the new open cafe that opened on 10 December 2022. It's been a month since this cafe has opened. The location is at number 28, Lorong Putra Raup 1, Pusat Perdagangan Putra Raup 27600 Raup, Pahang. Oh my god, everything is so good. Okay, instead of reviewing the food, I am going to look into their queuing system. Do they have a great queuing system? Let's see. So this micro reduce cafe has single tenant and multi-phase system. The operating hour is start from 1 pm to 10 pm every day. Today I'm gonna to talk about characteristic of queuing system. There are three characteristics which are arrival, waiting line and service facilities. For arrival characteristic at my Kori Rao, the size of calling population is infinite, or we call as unlimited. It means that the arrival rate is not affected by the number of customers in the system. In our study, MyCory is viewed as an open system where the customer comes from the outside and leaves the system after finishing the work. From our observation, all the customers that came to MyCory want to buy some ice cream. Next. The pattern of arrivals at the system, which is our lambda, is 11 customers per hour. And the behavior of the arrival is the patient customer where all the customer willing to wait in the queue until they are being served. The waiting line characteristic. The length of line is unlimited and for the queue discipline is first in first out or FIFO. First in first out is considered fair yet it is biased against customer requiring short service of time. Now let's see the service facility characteristic at my Korea Rao. So the number of channels that we use in our study is single channel system which has only one counter service for customer. In addition, my Korea is a multi-phase system where the customer will receive the service from two stations and the number of waiting line is single. Next, for the pattern of our service time of our meal is follow the exponential distribution which is 44 customer per hour. Lastly, the basic of queuing system configuration for MyCory in row. It uses single channel multi phase system. To make it clear, firstly, when the customer arrives, they will queue in the waiting line before they can make an order. Then the customer will be served by the service facility where the order will be taken and the queue number will be given. After a few minutes, the queue number will be called for the customer to prep their food. After finishing all of this step, the customer will exit MyCory. And that's all from me. I will talk about the calculation for queuing system from our observation at MyCory, where the arrival rate is 11 customer per hour and the service rate is 44 customer per hour with the number of server is equal to 1. For the average number of customer in the system where we substitute the value of lambda and mu into the formula, we got 0 0.3333. Meanwhile, for the average number of customer in queue, where the formula is lambda must be powered to 2 and divided to mu times with mu minus to lambda, we got 0 0.0833. Next, the average time of customer spends in the system is 0 0.0303 hour which is equivalent to 2 minutes 
and for the average time of customers spent in waiting in the queue, we got 0.0076 hour, which is equivalent to 0.5 minutes. And then for the utilization factor, we got poverty is equal to 0.25. Next, when we calculate 1 minus with poverty that the service system is busy, we will obtain the value of poverty of no customer in system which is 0.75. Right now, I will show you how to solve the queuing system by using QM for Windows. Firstly, open your QM for Windows. You will see the choices under Module 3. Select Waiting Lines and click on M slash M slash 1, which is Exponential Service Time because our queuing system is a single channel. Put on the title. We will name this title as Queuing System at My Career, and the cost analysis will remain none. Enter the value for Lambda and Mu. And don't forget to change the time unit corresponding to your data taken. For us, we are using hours as our time unit. Click on solve button to get the final result. Here, we will see the probability of service facility is being used is 0.25. The average number in the queue is 0.08. The average number in the system is 0.33. Meanwhile, the average time in the queue is 0.01, the average time in the system is 0.03. Last but not least, we may conclude that the number of servers provided is adequate because the customer's waiting time is less than the arrival time. Are the customers are happy with the waiting time? Yes, the customer indeed feels happy because they do not need to wait long before being served. So, what have we learned from this project? We do gain experience on how the waiting system happened in real life as we went to Microwave Cafe ourselves. We also learned that the poor server would lead to an increasing waiting time since they can handle too many customers because the customer's arrival time is larger than the service date. That's all from us. Thank you for spending your time watching our video. Have a nice day.